Hey, what's going on? Parker here, your boy. Hey, I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening over here. And at the same time, I want to, uh, so by the way, go over to keyplayer.life to learn more about what we're doing and to basically learn how you can ease your way more and more consistently into that harmony, into that resonance, into where, you know when the frequencies, and, and you people who are musicians will know what I'm talking about. You know when your frequency is just, you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you can just, you feel good in the moment. You feel good right now in that moment. You're, you have this access to that that heightened creativity that you're really in touch and it's easy for you to connect and it seems like anything that you do when you're in that zone just works the right person comes into your life the right the right business opportunity opens up someone asks you if they can pay you money um, people buy your products and services or you create or write a song and you look back on it and you're like dude I know the mood I was in when I created that song I know how I know what that feels like, you know? Now the only question is, how do I get there more often? I don't know how I get there, but when I do, it's almost like by chance. But if I could get there more often, if I could control that, if I could really have a, a, a really consistent and predictable way to generate that flow, what would you call that? I would call it like being tuned in, tapped in, turned on. The way to do that is to re release and remove the resistance around it. The resistance that, that keeps you from, so, so that when there's that dissonance, when there's that out of alignment, you know, if you're playing the guitar, it's like your strings aren't tuned quite right. And so when people experience those chords being played by that guitar, there's just kind of a, eh, you know what I mean? So if you're a leader in your life, right, and you want to have, when people hear you, do you want them to say, eh, right? Or do you want them to say, yep, that just, that speaks to me, that resonates with me, that's really clear for me, right? So it affects every area of your life across the board because of course it's gonna affect your business, of course it's gonna affect your intimate relationships, are you kidding me? You think the masculine feminine energies aren't at play with this stuff? They're totally at play. And if you don't believe me, look at the way everybody responded to Adam Levine at the Super Bowl. I mean, they're going crazy over this guy, right? And this is a dude who's at the peak of his game. He's at the peak of the of the, you know, of the of that game. And look at the value he's able to generate, the attention he's able to generate, the the um, the upheaval, I guess the, uh, what's the word? Look at the waves that he's making. He's a true artist, but he's in alignment with what is soul's purpose. He's in alignment with, with what he wants and who he wants to be. And because of that, things are opening up for him that are seemingly so effortless. And I'm not saying he's not putting in effort. Why would you want to leave out the effort? That's the funnest part, right? So anyway, I'm here in Austin, Texas still. I didn't plan on originally staying here for that long, but... Uh, for this long, but it's been mind blowing and fun. And I was at the Jesse Elder event called Legacy Live um, last week, and this this week I'm headed to Funnel Hacking. So now it's like so many things are going on. Uh, that'll be in Nashville, by the way. And uh, I was talking to some clients about this, and it's like, look, you, you've got to get that frequency down. You've got to practice your own frequency. You've got to tune into it. You've got to feel good right now. That's the top priority. That's the top priority for you. You who's a creator, right? You're, are you, you're not spectating. You're not watching life happen. You're creating things. So of course you're probably a business owner and you probably have a family. And you probably have a lot on your plate and there's probably things that are going on around you and you need to be in a state of creation. How do you do that? How do you be a key player across the board and level up across the board? So the invitation is jump over to key player and uh, put in your email there and come be a part of our tribe because we're, it's, we're really putting together a group of people who are committed to, to living the world, like to living and moving through the world like this. Okay, and if, if this perspective doesn't hit you and you don't say, yes, that's the perspective that I want to practice 
in my life. And I'm willing to change myself and I'm willing to do the work to get that perspective. Then you'll want to be a part of this and this will be totally for you. And that this perspective is, I am 100% responsible for my entire reality, for my entire, the way I see the world, for my entire experience. And I give that job or that responsibility to no other human being, not one. And I, as a result, have full control over that and full control over my emotions. And whenever I get knocked off kilter and whenever I get triggered, I'm committed to doing the work to getting back on and prioritizing how I feel right now higher than any other thing. Because I know it's from that place that my presence becomes a priceless gift. People will flock to me they'll throw money at me they will they will they will be grateful for my time they won't take advantage of it why because i loved myself enough i loved myself enough to honor myself and because i love and honor myself i don't deal with a bunch of i don't deal with a bunch of bs from people i just don't really it's not even that i like have to like keep it out of my life like it just doesn't come into my life i just don't attract people who are victims and who are weak and who are broken. I just don't, they're just, just not in my world. I don't see them. And uh, it takes work, it takes practice, it takes a constant sharpening, it definitely does, but if, and it takes getting around a community of people who are up to that same game, who are committed to that same thing, and who get that, like, Parker doesn't have all the answers. Parker's not some prophet. Parker's not the, not the, that this some amazing guru who doesn't have, I've got my own problems. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to present myself like a guru or even necessarily even have to be a coach. But nevertheless, I understand the process of creation. And I'm a master practitioner of it who continues to try to get better myself. But we're all going to make each other better. That's what a mastermind is. And so that's what the tribe is really about. And I can see myself, um, I can see myself and I can see you there at a live event or something. And we're at the front and it's very impromptu and we're teaching about this, but then we're also demonstrating it. It's like, hey, Prosh, can you jump on that, on that drum set real quick? Hey, Jimmy, can you play the bass line for this song real quick? And I just had an idea of something. And we just begin to play lounge style while the audience is there just having dinner. It's live music played by audience members who just invented a band, came up with an idea. Because they were in that state of flow, it's going to sound good. And it's going to be resonant. And giving the members of the event and the people who come to those private parties an experience of actually playing with other real musicians who are in that state of flow, who are like-minded musicians and have partnerships created and bands created and businesses created. And, and this state, this environment of total non-judgment, 100% responsibility and an environment that's really fun and easy to create inside of. If that sounds like fun to you, head over to keyplayer.life and what I promise to do, I want to connect with you, and what I promise to do is bring this vision and bring this way of living into your life and make it come to life uh, for you. And to do that, all I basically do is get to know a little bit about who you are and have a short conversation with you. And what that looks like is just head over to keyplayer.life and get that scheduled. So uh, I'll be... Um, I'll be conducting probably about 10 of those is all here in over the next three days or so. And I'll set aside that time to make that happen. So if you're listening to this on the podcast or you're watching this over on uh, YouTube or if you're watching this over on Instagram or wherever you're watching this at, just go to that website, keyplayer.life, and, uh, and jump on my calendar. I would love to get to know a little about who you are. So, all right. Talk to you soon. We'll see you. Bye.